Welcome to New Hampshire's Business. I'm Fred Coker. New Hampshire has one of the strongest school systems in the country among the states, but there are two trends that are of concern and would be of concern to the business community. One is a decline in enrollments in many of the schools, and the other is a decline in some of the test results that uh, are used to assess uh, students' proficiency in math, science, and the language arts and English. Uh, with me to talk about this uh, is the Commissioner of the Department of Education in New Hampshire, Frank Edelblue. Welcome. Good morning, Fred. Nice to have you. I'm happy to be here. Um, let's right go to the first bunch of numbers, and this is on enrollment. Uh, we can talk about this, uh, Commissioner. Uh, here is a school enrollment totals, preschool to high school. You can see the decline from 2010-11 down to 2019 and 20. Uh, and there is a significant decline there, and it just continues. Uh, Commissioner, uh, how do we explain that? Well, I mean, so what you're seeing there is over the last 10 years, uh, we have seen a decline in student enrollment of about 20,000 students. Yeah. So that's 20,000 fewer students in our public schools. Um, over that period of time, one of the strategies that our schools have used to try and accommodate that reduction yeah. in numbers of students is really consolidation. Uh, you know, getting together with neighbors in other towns and putting together a consolidated school to be able to meet the needs of their students and manage that declining enrollment. The difficulty is going to be yeah. we're forecasting somewhere between another 25,000 up to 50,000 decline in enrollment over the next 10 to 15 years. And we're going to reach a point where consolidation is no longer a viable option okay. because the dispersion of our students will be so sparse that you can't put a young kid on a bus for an hour and a half to get to another school. Right. So we're going to have to look at other options to manage the enrollment, to manage the instruction that is going to be both cost effective and effective for the students in the instructional practices. And of course the business community looking at this are going, whoa. <laughs> well, so the business community shouldn't be shocked. Um, I think that New Hampshire is actually in a good place. This decline in student enrollment is really a demographic shift that is happening not just in New Hampshire, it's happening across the country, it's happening around the world. It's, it's birth rate decline. It is birth yep. rate decline. I will tell you that New Hampshire has one of the, has some inbound millennial uh, population yep. compared to other states in the area, and that could reverse the trend a little bit. It's not going to turn it around, though. Let's go to these scores, and let's go to that first graphic. Uh, New Hampshire assessment test, this is math eighth grade, and you can see the decline uh, year over year. And then uh, the uh, language arts, English and language arts, eighth grade, you can, again, you can see the decline. And then uh, the science, eighth grade, and you can see the decline year over year there. This has to do with proficiency in those subjects, Commissioner. And there's some decline. I you picked the eighth grade, but it's clear that it's the same in the lower grades as well. Right, it is. Um, and so this is, those results come from what's called the NAEP test, which is the nation's report card. Mm -hmm. And so that is a test that is administered to students across the country. And across the board in every single state, there was a decline in terms of the student proficiency attainment in this last year. And essentially what we've seen, if we look again over the last 20 years on this nation's report card, yeah. we've basically seen relatively flat numbers that maybe there's a little increase one year, so a little bit of a decrease one year. The only consistent decline we have seen is when we got Common Core um, in the early 2010 and 2011, 2012, 2013 was implemented and we've seen more of a decline at that point in time. Yeah. But the just one more second, I know yeah. you want to say something. Go ahead. So the decline that New Hampshire saw was actually lower than the declines nationwide. Right, right. So we were down but not down like the other states. And we are out of time but of concern. Of concern and something to pay attention to. Commissioner uh, Frank Edelblue, Commissioner of the State of New Hampshire, Department of Education, thank you. Thank you so much.